Hey everyone, this is Jen from Midnight Sky Fibers and today I just want to show with you um, a couple of examples of knitting kits uh, that people often get for people as gifts or for new knitters or just for themselves if they're traveling and don't want to have to try and um, find all the different parts um, that they need to take with them uh, from their own knitting stash. Um, so knitting kits are usually a collection of supplies that you need to start or finish knitting work. Um, it usually will have uh, stitch markers, a knitting needle gauge, and a tapestry needle for weaving in ends. Uh, the more advanced knitting kit cases usually um, are zippered or have a way to keep them securely closed and are quite small, so they're designed for something that you can keep on your purse or carry on with you um, on a plane for going on vacation. Um, and tend to contain just the basics. So they'll usually have a tapestry needle, a knitting gauge, a tape measure, um, which is sometimes for the ones that are really, really small, your knitting gauge um, will double as a tape measure. It'll be either a four or a six inch gauge with the inches marked out um, along one side. They'll have stitch markers. The best ones, in my opinion, are the locking stitch markers. I think they're usually made by Clover, though other people also carry them. Um, they're small, they're plastic. They can work much like a safety pin and they can hold a few stitches um, in addition to doubling as stitch markers. You can get row counters. There's two types of these. They either have the ones that f uh, fit on the knitting needle or they have my favorite ones or which are the ones that look like a stopwatch which are bigger so they're not usually found in the really basic knitting, excuse me, knitting kits um, but I think they're a little bit easier to use um, compared to the row counter ones that fit on your knitting needles which also only work up to a certain size of knitting needles and don't work for the really small ones. Um, and many of them also include stitch holders for putting a large number of stitches. They're usually four or six inches long um, and it holds a large number of stitches. So stitches for a sleeve or the back of the neck um, or a shoulder. And it'll usually have one or two of those as well. Um, you don't need to get a knitting kit if you're just starting knitting or you want a gift. It's a good way to have a bunch of kit, a bunch of supplies all in one place. If uh, a friend or relative of yours, you know, has just started to knit or really likes knit and you're not sure what they have, um, or if you're not really sure what you need for knitting, it's a good way to just get started. Um, I tend to buy the supplies separately just because I want tons of stitch markers all at once, or I lose my tapestry needles all the time, so I tend to buy a large pack of tapestry needles, um, but if you don't lose your supplies as frequently as I do uh, from carrying them around and they fall out of my purse and whatever, um, then then this can be a great way to do it. Um, they usually cost about the same as it would cost to buy the supplies individually or a little bit less, um, but, um, but if you don't need a tape measure or a knitting gauge or stitch markers, then it's not really a cost-effective way to get some tapestry needles and stitch holders. It's usually better to just buy them separately. Um, that being said, I do like uh, the knitting kits um, for people who are just starting out, uh, since it's um, a great way for people to spend, you know, you spend $10 and you get all the supplies. Uh, you only get one tapestry needle instead of two or three. Um, but that's enough for people just starting out. You're not going to lose it right away. And it's cheaper than buying $4 worth of tapestry needles, a $4 knitting gauge, $3 or $4 for stitch markers, another 6 for a row counter, and so on. Um, so it can be a really good way to save a little bit of money if you just need a few different little knitting supplies to get you started.